This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by HostGator. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. Mike Perlman very excellently filled in for me last week while I was on vacation, but now you have to deal with my ugly face yet again. This week on Ask the Buffalo, the show where you can ask any questions you have from the world of technology, we are going to talk PlayStation Vita, we're going to talk about some Apple rumors and all kinds of other stuff in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. Every Tuesday on TechnoBuffalo.com, we'll put up a post asking for you to submit your questions. All you gotta do is leave them in the comments. Otherwise, you can go ahead and send your question to us on Twitter. Send it to at TechnoBuffalo and use the hashtag AskTheB. All right, so our first question talks about the iPad 3 and wants to know what we can expect. It comes from user Kieran Smith who asks, John, the iPad 3 is rumored to have an announcement on March 7th. What's your opinion on this? So March 7th is a date that we've heard and then we heard it confirmed again but until we get that invitation from Apple in the mail or email uh, I'm a little bit dubious certainly March 7th does tie into the iPad release cycle which we've seen pretty regularly just about every year uh, the bigger story as opposed to when is what and what we're going to see in an iPad 3 so a few things seem like obvious upgrades first better camera camera on the iPad 2 is abysmal um, both cameras are abysmal. They barely qualify as cameras. It's like someone took a really good camera, it rubbed Vaseline all over the lens, and then they stuck that lens into the back of the iPad 2. Retina display is certainly something that we're going to see, which could lead potentially to some sort of app fragmentation. Some apps run at higher display, some have to be scaled. Better battery, certainly, uh, as an evolutionary uh, step that we've seen on every iteration of the device, or at least the only second iteration uh, that we've seen since the iPad 1 launched. Uh, also, processor. Uh, a lot of talk about the A6. We went from the A4 to the A5, so using my keen math skills, uh, we are going to see the A6 processor, uh, which presumably will bring two more cores to the party, making it a quad-core device. So certainly that ups what app developers can do as far as games, gaming prowess, uh, and the like. All right, so we went from super technical, so let's go to the other side and talk about design. What is the best designed phone? Uh, asks user Dylan Herrero. There are two, uh, as far as I'm concerned. First, I think this, the uh, Lumia 900 and the Lumia 800 as well before that uh, by Nokia are just gorgeous phones. Uh, they feel great in the hand, they feel solid, uh, absolutely beautiful to look at. Those are obviously built by Nokia, uh, running Windows Phone 7, and the iPhone 4S. I haven't used an iPhone in months, but the way the iPhone looks and feels uh, is a feat of industrial design that we haven't seen really matched uh, in the Android world. So those are my top two or three choices if you want to count the 800 uh, in there as well for the best designed phones. What do you guys think uh, are the best designed phones out there? That is absolutely fantastic, Mr. John Four Lakers, but I'm gonna take some time to thank our wonderful friends at HostGator. Hey, are you looking for a place to launch your blog or website, but a little bit frustrated with the customer support from your current service provider? Well, no worries. HostGator will get your blog up and running in minutes with plans starting at just around 3 dollars 96 a month. You get top rated, top rated, okay, 24 7 customer support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 web templates. 4,000 templates! That's a lot of templates. And also, they'll migrate your current site over for free. Their servers are 130% powered by wind energy. It's completely green web hosting. You get unlimited disk space and bandwidth, a 45 day money back guarantee, and $100 Google AdWords credit to market your website. Right now, for you Rev3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter in the coupon code TechnoBuffalo at the checkout to get your discount. Back to you, Mr. John fantastic for Lakers Rettinger. Our last question comes from TechMix. Uh, he asks, do you think the PS Vita will be able to compete with full-fledged consoles on the market or will it become more of a novelty like its previous installment? By the way, how tall are you? First, compete with full-fledged consoles. It's not supposed to compete with full-fledged consoles. It's supposed to complement them. And now Sony's saying that the PS Vita has almost the graphics prowess of the PS3. 
you know, that's sort of yet to be seen on a smaller screen. It's kind of hard to tell. If you're sitting at home and you've got a PS3 in front of you and you've got your you know, same game on a portable console, chances are you're gonna play on your bigger console on the bigger screen. But when you wanna go on the go, you're traveling, you're sitting in bed, you're staying up late, you're doing whatever you wanna do, uh, you've got that PS Vita uh, as an option. A lot has been made about casual gamers versus hardcore gamers. A lot of people now are playing their games on their mobile devices. And that's fine for wanting to play a couple of bouts of Angry Birds or smaller games. Um, but those dedicated portable consoles give you a lot of things that you know your iPhone, your Android device, your iPad, whatever it might be, won't do. And you're getting a better array of titles, at least in my opinion, for sort of that hardcore game. If you don't want to play a few levels, you actually want to go through and get an epic story. Uh, that's really where you're going to get it from uh, the portable side. So hopefully that helped answer your question. Uh, and how tall are you? I'm guessing 5'8". I am a monstrous, I am monstrously taller than 5'8". I am 5'10". I'm a little bit under 5'10", in all honesty. I'm like 5'9", like three quarters. But I like to round up because I'm a guy and that's what we do. So I'm going to say I'm 5'10". So that wraps up this episode of Ask the Buffalo. For all of your tech news, unboxing reviews, be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com. I'm your host, John Rettinger, and I will be back in the same seat next Monday. Uh, if you want to watch other Techno Buffalo episodes on Revision 3, uh, every Wednesday we've got What's the Apps, where our own John Quatch will show you the best applications from the mobile world, whether it's phones or tablets across a variety of operating systems. And every Friday, Noah Kravitz is going to take you to the Rumor Roundup, where we'll recap all the rumors for the week. And there have been a lot of rumors. So be sure to check us out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Revision 3. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.